I honestly and personally had a low MCAT score myself and I know the big question is what was your MCAT score? Well guess what? I am actually going to reveal it in this video. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dash and Mo and today I'm going to be talking to y'all about how to get into medical school with a low MCAT score. So I'm taking a quick study break right now. Um, I have a test on Monday, my first test of second year. And I'm just taking a quick study break um, to check in with y'all and to tell y'all this because I honestly and personally had a low MCAT score myself. And I know the big question is, what was your MCAT score? Well, guess what? I am actually going to reveal it in this video. And I can't believe I'm gonna do this because um, I thought I would never reveal my MCAT score, but um, you're gonna have to watch the video to the end to find out what it is. But yeah, so I had a super low MCAT score. I ended up getting into medical school regardless of what so many people told me, um, and a lot of people discouraged me and told me I wouldn't get into medical school. But I will say that um, my GPA, it wasn't super great, but it wasn't so bad. Um, I won't tell you all my exact GPA, but I did graduate cum laude, cum laude, however you pronounce that. Um, but yeah, so that's like the lowest honors you can get in undergrad. So there are five tips that I want you to know um, and that I think were helpful for me for getting into medical school with such a low MCAT score. Um, so the first one is you have to do your research. Um, you have to research uh, like schools, average MCAT scores, um, and the ranges. So um, some schools uh, have a certain MCAT cutoff, and um, this goes the same for GPA as well. But I'm just telling y'all my experience with MCAT um, scores specifically, but also you want to look at that as well because there are so many factors on getting into medical school, so it's not just limited to just MCAT. Um, also, the second thing is apply early. Like, I really can't stress that enough. Um, I know it's different, especially if you're trying to get into a Texas school. Texas schools, their applications are due by October. Um, I mean, the rest of the United States is like a little later than that. I would say maybe come like November, December even. And then secondaries are due way later than that, like maybe in the spring even, um, as late as that I've seen. Um, and so you need to apply early and early is as in like you need to do it ASAP Rocky like as soon as you can. Um, there's no really definition of early. It's just that you definitely need to turn that in before the deadline, like way before the deadline. Um, so I had finished my applications and secondary along with secondaries like by January. Um, and yeah, so that's that. Um, the third thing is apply broadly. I had um, emphasized this um, in one of my videos, um, but you need to apply broadly. I told y'all I had applied to 47 medical schools, both US and Caribbean, um, and I will tell y'all this. I got into three of the Caribbean schools. One I got an interview to, but I didn't pursue the interview because I had gotten into a U.S. medical school and I got into one U.S. medical school so it only takes one. Um, my statistics according to the AAMC were saying that I had a less than five or about five percent chance of getting into medical school with the statistics that I had. So just know that your statistics don't define you at all and if you have um, the means to apply broadly and early and at the time that you're thinking of applying then do it. I highly just suggest to jump in and just do it and don't waste any time and don't think about it if you know that you want to pursue medicine for sure and then the fourth thing is so since you do have um, a low MCAT score you do need to have extracurriculars during my um, interviews they were asking me a lot about my extracurriculars. What were my leadership experiences? What were my volunteer experiences? You must have that. And I will make a video on exactly what I did, but just know that it, when I do make that video, you don't, like I highly just dis discourage someone from following my extracurriculars to the T because if I had gone back and told my 
little freshman undergrad self anything, I would say definitely just limit those extracurriculars, focus on school mainly, focus on studying for that MCAT early, and um, have a broad spectrum of extracurriculars, but it's, it's hard to explain in this video, but I will definitely explain it in another video. And then, so that's that one. The fifth thing that I have um, of advice is own that interview. So for me, I'm very different from a lot of people. A lot of people need practice um, before their interviews. I don't. I like going in cold feet, um, just go in because I love interviews. Those are the things that I thrive on. Um, I don't like application processes. I don't really have that great of like essay skills in my opinion. Um, so I love interviews. Every time I get the chance to do an interview, I'm so excited because I'm like, yes, this is what I I love doing. Is I love talking to people um, and I just love interviews. I just want to say own that interview because once you pass that application process, they will basically just, a lot of schools, I'm not going to say it's like an absolute thing, but they will base their opinion of you getting in on just your interview alone and just setting aside all of statistics and everything. So it just depends um, on the school. Um, so with that being said, those were my five um, little tips and tricks on how to get into medical school with a low MCAT score. My, I took the MCAT three times, like I told you in a previous video. And my highest score was my first score. Um, and it was a 23, y'all. My MCAT score wasn't even on any of the statistics. I think it was like, uh, I don't even know. I, I think I like looked at so many schools and I think the lowest I saw was a 24. Um, but yeah, it was really bad. I really did not think I was gonna get into medical school the first time I applied and straight out of undergrad, but I did. And I just wanna say that it's totally, it's doable. Sure, there are the, the odds are against you, but it is so doable, like you can do it. And also a word about um, about applying with a low MCAT score. Uh, yes, you are gonna get a lot of rejections, okay? I uh, got into a total of four of the schools that I applied to out of 47. That's a lot of rejections, okay? But medicine comes with a lot of discouragement and a lot of rejections, and that's just how the career of medicine is, which is, the honest and really uh it's the honest and ugly truth and i don't like it and no one does i'm sure but you can definitely do it um just believe in yourself um and just have positive thoughts positive thoughts are very important well good luck to anyone that is taking the mcat anytime soon and applying to medical school this cycle i really hope y'all get in um and just let me know if you all have any questions whatsoever about um in addition to whatever um, advice I've given y'all today about applying to medical school with a low MCAT. So I guess that's it for this video. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and give a thumbs up to this video if you liked it. And make sure to subscribe to my channels uh, for more videos and make sure to turn on those notification settings so that you know when I post a video. Also make sure to follow me on social media at on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and um, I think that's it so far, but turn on those notifications and I really like my goal I think maybe not by the end of this year, but definitely by the end of second my second year I do want to hit like 10,000 subscribers. I know that's super ambitious of me, but I want to like give away I want to do a giveaway and I already know what I want to give away and I really want to do that. So if you could share this video with someone that really needs that encouragement, share my channel with a friend that's also interested in going into medical school. And if you have any questions, again, just um, leave a comment below or contact me on any of my social medias. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.